because y'all means all important to the tourism office. Well, we want everyone to feel welcome and included in Ashland, Kentucky. Do you agree with this statement? All people deserve to be treated with kindness, respect, and dignity. Or how about this one? Liberty and justice are for everyone in equal measure. I do. I'm author Gwen Elise Clayton. I'm a cisgendered, heterosexual, monogamous woman who uses the pronouns she, her. I'm also a huge supporter of small local businesses. And by that, I mean all small local businesses. I may not fly a rainbow flag in my yard, but I do support business owners, employees, and customers who want to live their lives outside the closet. No one should live in fear or shame just because of who they are. This is not a political or religious statement. I don't care if you're progressive, conservative, libertarian, Christian, atheist, pagan, Buddhist, Hindu, Muslim, Jewish, Sikh, or whatever. I want to live in a world where everybody can congregate and interact with each other, buy homes, go to work, start businesses, seek health care, practice health care, attend school, get legal representation, vote, run for office, and choose to pray or not to pray with the same level of freedom as everybody else. That's why I wanted to do a video about the Y'all Means All campaign from Ashland Pride. I invited the group's community outreach coordinator, Kashina Davis, to tell us more about it. The Y'all Means All campaign, it is part of or an initiative with Ashland Kentucky Pride. Um, so what we do essentially is we take a pledge uh, two businesses. Uh, it started in Ashland, but it's actually across the tri-state. And the agreement is that uh, businesses do not discriminate against their employers, against their clientele, and against anyone they work with, like say vendors, if you know it's a food service. Um, and what they do is we give them the Y'all Means All stickers. Um, and we ask that they put them in the entrance to their business so that people know when they're coming in that they can expect not to be discriminated against. They can expect that they are in a safe, affirming environment and they will be respected. Um, we also add our Y'all Means All businesses to our website. Um, we have like kind of a running database of places based on like the type, like say, um, you know, well, we're trying to add more doctor's offices, um, for example. We have a couple banks. We have restaurants actually here at Panera Bread. They're one of our Y'all Means All businesses. Yeah. I feel like we've been very fortunate. We have a lot of very open and affirming places here in Ashland and also throughout the tri-state when we first rolled out this campaign so many people like got contacted us and said hey you know how do I sign up I want to be a part of this um, currently we have I believe 66 businesses have signed on and 55 more are actually in our queue for us to go and contact uh, to get them to sign it's easy because you know the LGBTQ plus community still unfortunately deals with a lot of discrimination um, and a lot of times, you know, we, when you go somewhere, like especially say a doctor's office, for example, you might find yourself having to explain gender identity or sexual orientation, which is very uncomfortable. Um, sometimes if you go to certain businesses and you're just out and about, people might be rude or make, uh, they'll make comments. Um, they might make jokes, you know, they might give us dirty looks. Those are things that we deal with, um, unfortunately. And so when you see that y'all means all sticker, you know that you can expect to not have to deal with those things and that if you do at least you'll have people who are in your corner when you're dealing with those that kind of discrimination. Ashen Pride started in 2019. Um, it actually kind of started with a Facebook conversation. Um, our founder Brian Stevens was in a group and has suggested you know what if we have a pride parade here in Ashland and there was kind of a lot of negativity in response to that. Um, but thankfully Brian knew that like, obviously we have a community here and we needed a spot or kind of like a gathering point where people who are LGBTQ plus can get together and like plan to do events and, you know, hang out places and just, you know, hang out somewhere where, again, we don't have to worry about the discrimination. We don't have to worry about people making fun of us. You know, we're just people. So Brian got a bunch of people together and um, 
our goal is basically to have events like community events like we have uh, to do education projects like the Y'all Means All campaign. We also do something called Safe Zone Training, um, just basically to establish the fact that we're here and we're not going anywhere and we just want the freedom to exist like everyone else, peacefully. When you meet someone and you tell them your pronouns, what you're doing is saying that you're basically someone who's going to respect their pronouns, you're not going to make fun of them, um, and you take the onus off of them to even have to explain what that is in the first place, because sometimes people will, um, like so someone uses they, them pronouns, which are typically used for non-binary people or gender non-conforming people. You know, someone might be like, okay, what does that mean? Um, but usually people who greet you with, the, with their pronouns, they already know those things. Um, and I do want to say that there's nothing wrong with not knowing much about that. A lot of people don't. A lot of times we talk about pronouns because it has to do with gender identity. Um, so of course, you know, LGBTQ plus is considered an umbrella term, right? And under that umbrella on one side we have gender identity, on the other side we have sexual orientation. Those are not the same things, but they do get grouped together, which can be very confusing. So when it comes to pronouns, we're talking about gender identity. So. I am a cisgender woman, which means that I use she, her pronouns. Those are my pronouns that, you know, I identify with. Um, so I have friends who are close to me who use they, them pronouns because they are, like I said, gender fluid or non-binary. Um, some people use a combination like she, they, or he, they. Um, and again, like when you have those conversations with people or just when you meet people and say, hey, these are my pronouns, it lets them know that that's something that you respect and that you're the kind of person that they can feel a little bit more comfortable talking to about those sorts of things. And by normalizing pronouns, um, it makes things, I, I would say, better for people who use like, quote unquote, non-traditional pronouns. Tell me more about the safe zone training. Okay, uh, safe zone training is really neat. It's actually an open source training um, that's online. It was created by a group of people and they occasionally, you know, tweak parts of it. But um, because it's open source, anyone can use that training and add different parts to it if they want. It is typically um, about a two hour training um, and it goes over things like pronouns, um, the umbrella of LGBTQ+, um, vocabulary, because there's, there's so many terms and even I'm still learning all of them. Um, etiquette also, um, and we have a section about intersectionality where we discuss um, the different ways that people's identities and experience intersect and can exacerbate oppression for them. So for example, like a black transgender woman, um, you know, that's actually one of the most vulnerable groups in our society. They face a lot of discrimination, they face a lot of violence. And those are the sort of things that we talk about in the training. Um, it's meant to be um, a space where people can feel comfortable asking questions. Um, a place where people can learn and then leave that training feeling more confident in their knowledge and, you know, better able to be an ally to the LGBTQ plus community. How comfortable is it to be LGBTQ plus in Kentucky? Um, it can be pretty challenging. Um, my spouse is non-binary, so, um, you know, they sometimes wear dresses or you know they wear makeup and we get some really uncomfortable stares um like not just someone glancing at us but people just sitting and like gawking at us um i we've been we've walked past people before in places like the mall and people have you know made little snide comments um and then you have the larger issues like you know when we go look for housing um you know that fear that like well if you know we are obviously a queer couple, you know, how are those people going to treat us? Or like if we go to the bank, the same thing. And you know, like when we go to the doctor, um, it can be very challenging. Um, it can be kind of scary depending on the situation. Um, there was one time my spouse and I went to the hospital because they were sick and the doctor, because the attendant physician was not very nice at all. Um, and I'm actually pretty sure she actually gave us the wrong test results. Um, because she was just so visibly disgusted with us that she was not able to give the kind of care that, that required us to get what my spouse needed. Um, so situations like that are, are, you know, they're very difficult um, and disheartening. However, I will say, uh, in part because of Ashland Pride, I, I personally at least have met a lot more of the community. There are a lot of LGBTQ plus people here in Ashland and, you know, here across Kentucky even. and 
you know, through the Y'all Means All campaign, you know, we've come to see that we have a lot of allies. There are a lot of people who are, you know, willing and vocal about, you know, caring that we're here and wanting us to just be part of society like everyone else. It's important when if, if someone feels a particular way about a group of people, uh, especially based on a ton of stereotypes and they don't actually know those people, to, you know, reach out. Um, try to be involved in some way like we have you know public events throughout the year like we have our annual holiday party we just had our Ashland Pride picnic the second annual picnic um, you know come see us and, and see that we're just we're just people we're not out here trying to hurt anybody you know we're not dangerous we're just your neighbors thank you so much fun fact when I was doing research for this video I found out that country singer Miranda Lambert has a song called Y'all Means All, and it was featured in season six of the show Queer Eye. I've never seen that show, but I love Miranda. Out in the country, honey, y'all means all. I also did one of my highly academic Google searches looking for the origins of Y'all Means All. The earliest reference I could find was from the Equality North Carolina Facebook page. It was a photo from 2015. Unfortunately, the link to the original site is broken, so I couldn't get more information about it. Anyway, Article 1 of the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights says, All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Now, of course, if I were the UN's editor, I would change brotherhood to a more gender neutral word like camaraderie, but you get the gist. I'm not asking anyone to forsake their religious beliefs or their own conscience, but please be kind. Trolling, harassing, and hurling mean-spirited comments at other people does nothing to persuade them to join your side. Violence and discrimination are unacceptable. We all have to share this world and we might as well just make the best of it. No one demographic group gets to reign superior. On that note, I'm gonna sign off for now. Thanks so much to Kashina Davis from Ashland Pride for joining us today. Links to everything mentioned will be listed in the description box. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it interesting or informative and be sure to subscribe to the Rivervine YouTube channel for more news, features, and commentary from the utopia of Rivervine. I'm your host, Gwen Elise Clayton. I drop videos every Tuesday evening. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.